But how can we use this knowledge uh, about reinforcers and motivation to our own benefit? All living things respond to reinforcers. If we can learn what consequences, what results a parrot works for, then we can use that knowledge to help them choose behaviors we want over behaviors we don't want, we don't like. Choosing to step onto our hands rather than biting our fingers. <laughs> Choosing to chew a toy rather than our furniture. Choosing to play with us rather than hide from us. On the other hand, we can use motivation also to get our birds to stop doing something. This is a matter of making one behavior more rewarding, more motivating than another. It's like the story of the choice behind two doors. Behind one is a lady, and behind the other is a man-eating tiger. In the story, the choice is made blindly. Oh, beautiful song, PHS. Do you have another verse? Beautiful song. Beautiful song, pretty girl. Pretty girl. What are you doing down there, Pippa? In the, cho in the story, the choice is made blindly. Our job is to paint a clear sign over each door. Okay, these are called cues. Our job is to make clear what result each behavior will bring about. 